All right, we're testing our honey to make sure it's within the percentage range for honey, which is 18% or less water content. And what we're using here is the Milwaukee refractometer, the MA871. And it's a digital one. So what we do is we have to tear it out first, which just means it, it kind of senses that uh, there's nothing there. So it makes it zero. And then we go ahead and I think she used distilled water to clean it. Yes, I did. And after that... Well, to calibrate. Ah, to calibrate. Distilled water to calibrate it. That sets it to zero. And then we'll add a drop of honey from one of our, our jars. Now these came from the two frames from the extractor video. And it's so nice that two frames is really all you need. If you're just doing it for your home and you're not selling honey, two frames, look at all that. That'll last you the rest of the year if, if you're conservative. If you're not, <laughs> get another two frames out and that should do it. Yeah. Um, if you like these, these bottle tops, hit us up in the comments and I'll tell you where I got them from. The bottles and the tops, I guess. I like these because they remind me of Germany. So in the past I've used toothpicks and I was thinking maybe I'll use the spoon this time, but I think if I use the back of the spoon it'll work. Okay. But then I And can, it's clean, right? It's of course it's clean. Okay. But then I can lick it afterwards. Okay. <laughs> You don't need a ton, but it does have to cover the lens completely. Mm -hmm. so. Still as good as it was yesterday? Oh yeah. oh, yeah. So we took a honey sensory class. Is that what it was called? Mm -hmm. I think so. And it told, you know, teaches you how to smell, how to you know, mm. taste it and figure out what it, what it looks like. So that is 80, 80 which, three, which is that bricks or is that, that's not water content. Yeah, that's bricks. Yeah. So we then, we then have to use the conversion, conversion to take it from bricks down to, uh, to which the water. At 80 bricks is about 17. Looks 17? like. Okay, cool. So we just did a quick Google. You look at one of the pictures that converts it, or you can actually type it into a converter. But 17 means that it's not gonna ferment, which is great, unless you like mead. And we do like mead, we make our own mead. And if you take the same sort of honey and you make mead, look at the color difference. It's almost none, it's about the same. Let me scoot that closer. So that's the difference there, and this this mead is about 16-ish percent. So it'll knock you on your butt if you drink too much of it too quick because it's so sweet that you kind of don't know it's ha happening. 17%. If you so. do bottle and it's more than 18%, some things that people like to do is um, put them in their car window and you just pop the, the lid a little bit. It lets the moisture out. It'll also release all the bubbles. So if you look at our honey, we have uh, a bunch of bubbles. That's it's all right there. If you're doing honey judging and whatnot, you gotta have all those bubbles out of there. And that's one of the things they don't they don't like having anything in the honey, bubbles, lint, everything. You gotta clean off the jar real good. It is what it is. But when you're drinking mead, it doesn't really matter. All right, have a great day.